3D filaments. If you've ever wondered what the differences are between them, don't worry, you're not alone. Certain materials cater to certain needs. If you're looking for a filament that could withstand more heat, which do you go with? If you need flexibility or toughness or both, which do you choose? Hi, my name is Bruce over at Hatchbox and today we will be going over the seven different materials that we carry and how they can benefit your prints. The first filament on our list is PLA. Hatchbox PLA is a biodegradable material that is made from renewable resources like corn, cassava, sugarcane, and beets. Glucose is obtained from these plants using a method called saccharification, which breaks down complex carbohydrates such as starches that are used as the building block of our PLA material. It has good biodegradability and can be completely degraded by microorganisms in nature and eventually generate carbon dioxide and water. Now that we know more about PLA, let's discuss its benefits. The first benefit of PLA filament is its easy printability. Its low melting point and optional heat bed make it a great option for beginners and seasoned printers. The second is its ability to be used on just about every household 3D printer. It can be used on roughly 99% of them with ease. The third is that PLA is less susceptible to warping, which translates to great looking prints with minimal adjusting to your settings. With all benefits in mind, let's take a look at a few limitations of PLA. First off, PLA tends to be a bit more brittle and can break if put under too much pressure. Second, because of its low melting point, PLA doesn't do well when it is exposed to heat. Your prints will deform when placed in direct sunlight or hot environments. With all that in mind, there are some prints that PLA is good for. PLA is suitable for fast and large size model prints. It's great when you want to print items like board games or model pieces that can be displayed on desks, or that won't be put under a lot of strenuous use. When it comes down to settings, we recommend printing PLA at temperatures that range from 180 to 210 degrees Celsius, depending on your printer. Second. It doesn't require a heat bed, but it can be used on trickier prints that need to stay put. If you're looking for tougher prints that can take a beating, PLA is not your choice. PLA is a great material for all to enjoy, whether you're starting out or a seasoned printer. Its easy printability makes it a staple in the 3D printing community. PPLA, also known as Performance PLA, is a Hatchbox exclusive material that shares all of the same great benefits that PLA has easy printability, biodegradable, and includes a few extra features like higher toughness and even less warping. When used in injection molding, PPLA has 10 times more impact strength than PLA. Let's take a look at the benefits of PPLA. First, this material has greater interplay bonding to help your prints with strength. Second, PPLA prints at a higher temperature than standard PLA, so it is a bit more resistant to heat. Even with improved strength, PPLA does have a few limitations when it comes to heat resistance. While its higher melting point does make it more resistant and tolerable to heat, it's still not as resilient as other materials. Next, let's take a look at what prints PPLA is good for. Hatchbox PPLA is a great choice when printing structural parts and other models with higher engineering performance. It can even be used in mechanical parts and can take more pressure than our standard PLA. PPLA print settings are almost the same as PLA with a few changes, which are set your extruder temperature a bit higher starting at 200 degrees Celsius and working your way up. PPLA does not require a heat bed either, but it can be used if you need your larger print to stay put. The takeaway? If you enjoy printing with our PLA but need stronger prints with improved layer bonding, PPLA is definitely the way to go. Since we've mentioned heat resistance so much, you might wonder, which material can take the heat? Let's dive into the second most common 3D printing material, Hatchbox ABS. For more than 70 years, ABS has been used to make a variety of industrial parts and consumer goods, from automobile dashboards to Lego bricks. ABS yields more durable, impact-resistant parts than other industrial plastics. Now, Let's dissect the benefits of printing with ABS. Objects printed with ABS are more suitable for finished applications than those printed with PLA. Secondly, greater strength, 
impact resistance, and heat resistance combined to make ABS parts more durable in a wider range of environments. And lastly, this material creates less friction in the extruder, which lets you produce finer details on small parts. Let's move on to a few limitations that you might see with ABS. This material will require you to either use an enclosure or a closed printer for two reasons. One, the material does emit an odor and while not toxic, it can be a powerful and strong odor. Two, ABS shrinks dramatically as it cools, causing your prints to warp or crack, keeping the printing environment on the warmer side will allow your prints to come out as intended. Let's take a look at what type of prints ABS is good for. ABS prints are great for finished applications and rapid prototyping that can withstand more pressure due to its high strength. It's also good for outdoor prints like plant vases and its high temperatures allow it to withstand more heat. However, it still can deform if left in direct sunlight for too long. So be sure that it gets some shade as well. Lastly, when post-processed in acetone, ABS prints give off a professional, shiny and smooth look, which works great for indoor decor. Here are a few things to keep in mind when setting your printer for Hatchbox ABS. Your extruder temperature should be set to somewhere between 210 to 240 degrees Celsius, but may need to go as high as 250. The heat bed should be set at 80 to 100 degrees Celsius with a speed of 40 to 80 millimeters per second. Every printer is different, so these settings may need to be adjusted a bit. A few key takeaways about ABS is that its strength, durability, and temperature resistance make it a great alternative to PLA when those characteristics are needed. But it does require a bit more fine tuning and either an enclosure or closed printer to get the job done right. Now, what if you're looking for a material with easy printability and strength durability and heat resistance? Does such a material exist? You bet it does. And it's called Hatchbox PETG. This plastic material can withstand high temperature processes like thermoforming. This is the process of melting a thin sheet of plastic like PETG into a pliable form to go over a male or female mold to create things like plastic food containers. PETG is resistant to impact, heat solvents, and has applications in many industries. You will find PETG in retail packaging, medical packaging, advertising displays, and used as electrical insulators. Let's jump into the benefits of Hatchbox PETG. First off, this material adheres well and does not emit fumes that require ventilation. Second, PETG offers the strength and durability of plastics like ABS, while being as easy to work with as PLA, the best of both worlds. With that in mind, Let's see where PETG might not come in handy. Since PETG is more prone to oozing than PLA or ABS, you will have to experiment with retraction and bridging settings to get quality prints. You may also need to do more post-processing to remove stringing and other blemishes that come with printing with PETG. Now with the pros and cons out of the way, let's see where PETG prints may be useful for you. One. Parts made with PETG are more flexible and impact resistant than PLA. Two, PETG prints can be used in load bearing applications like mechanical parts or prototyping. When you're ready to print with PETG, start with these general settings. Printing temperatures can be set as low as 210 and as high as 245 degrees Celsius. We also recommend settings your heat bed to 70 to 80 degrees Celsius and a printing speed of 40 to 100 millimeters per second for consistent results. Combining the easy printability of PLA and the toughness of ABS makes PETG a great alternative to the two materials. However, with its higher printing temps, you'll certainly need to hone in your printing skills and do a little more fine tuning to get it to work well for you. Our next material is one that is gaining popularity because of its flexibility, Hatchbox TPU. This is a plastic with unique characteristics that are similar to rubber and is often referred to as the bridge between plastic and rubber. With great flexibility and durability, it also has a medium shore hardness of 95A, which is one method of measuring hardness. On a shore hardness scale, TPUs can be categorized into A, flexible type, and D, rigid type, on both A and D scales. 
The range is from zero soft to 100 hard. Therefore, Hatchbox's Shore 95A grade denotes it to be a hard, highly resilient, and reliable material. TPU also has good resistance to wear and tear, oils, and solvents. It's widely used in many industries like the automotive industry, tools and hardware, sporting goods, medical devices, and believe it or not, footwear. Next, let's see what TPU has to offer when it comes to benefits. One, this material bounces back when deformed without losing its strength or durability. Two, it gets less warping as the part cools, so you will not need an enclosure to manage temperatures. While TPU might be what you're looking for, let's take a look at what limitations it might have when printing. TPU filament can bunch up within the extruder mechanism, causing clogging if your settings are not dialed in. Another thing to consider about TPU is its inability to be smoothed out or polished. Its higher resistance to abrasions make it nearly impossible to fix small imperfections in your print. While not a bad thing, prints have to be near perfect. With those points in mind, let's move on to what can be printed with it. TPU's material properties make it the perfect choice when you need a part to bend, flex, squish, or stretch. Objects that need to dampen vibrations or resist impacts are good targets for TPU 3D printing. To get TPU working for you, here are a few starting points for its settings. The recommended printing temperature for our TPU is 190 to 230 degrees Celsius, with a heat bed temperature of 30 to 60 degrees Celsius. Your printing speed should be around 60 millimeters per second, preferably around 45, with the fan running at full speed. TPU's elastomer characteristics make it a desired choice among those who have a few years of printing under their belt, but it's not without its limitations. When selecting TPU, make sure your printer can handle what it needs to prevent clogging of your extruder. Now that we covered our most common 3D printing materials, it's time to discuss our more challenging materials, starting with Hatchbox PA. This engineering plastic is made up of synthetic polymers that are mainly used in the textile industry, but does have more applications. Industrial PA fibers are used in everything from clothing to parachute cords. Cast or extruded polyamide parts are even used in automotive engines. While more difficult to print with, PA does have some incredible benefits. One, its toughness and abrasion resistant characteristics allow prints to survive in harsh environments. Two, strength and durability make parts printed from polyamide plastic suitable for long-term functional use. Although printing with PA comes with some great benefits, it can be a little tricky. Let's take a look at why printing with PA can be challenging. PA does require extrusion temps that many household printers might not be able to handle, and you may need an all-metal hot end. Another noteworthy point about PA is that it is very hygroscopic, which means that it will almost certainly absorb moisture from its surroundings. Moisture in your filaments can lead to a number of issues, including brittleness, so storing PA correctly is key. Let's take a look at what prints PA will be good for. Applications such as gears or bearings that require low friction and high abrasion resistance are good candidates for polyamide. PA can produce high quality surface finishes that require minimal post-processing, making them look great right off the printer. Now onto some basic settings for printing with PA. You will need to start your printing temps at 240 degrees Celsius at the lowest. It may require you to go as high as 290 degrees Celsius. Heat beds should be set to roughly 70 to 100 degrees Celsius with a printing speed of 40 to 80 millimeters per second. This material will not require a fan and can be printed in an open environment. But set your ambient temperature to no less than 15 degrees Celsius for best results. If you're in need of a material that can readily be used as a functional part or a sturdy prototype that has excellent toughness, heat, and impact resistance, PA should be your go-to. As a friendly reminder, remember to be careful when printing this filament and store accordingly. And last on our list is Hatchbox PC, another great yet tougher material to print with. PC is a thermoplastic that is known for its transparency, strength, and impact resistance. Commonly used for eyewear and bulletproof partitions, polycarbonate plastics are also used to make fighter jet cockpit canopies. Let's look into why PC filament can be beneficial for you. 
First on the list is less warping and great adhesion between layers. Like PLA, PC sticks well to itself, allowing for a stronger bond. Secondly, it has high toughness, strength, and temperature resistance. It's great, right? But like all great things, there is a catch to PC and its great benefits. And those are, one, polycarbonate filament are highly hygroscopic, which means they will readily absorb moisture if not stored properly. Two, with its high printing temperatures, household printers will not be able to extrude this material. Now let's move on to what type of prints are best for PC. Polycarbonate 3D printing lets you create extremely strong functional parts and more durable objects than you can with most other filament materials. PC can also be more transparent than other printable plastics, letting you create interesting effects with your prints. If you do manage to get your hands on an industrial printer, here are some general print settings for PC. Printing temperatures should be around 240 to 270 degrees Celsius with a bed temperature of 80 to 120 degrees Celsius to prevent warping. And since PC 3D printing generates noxious fumes, you would need a well-ventilated enclosure. So what did we learn about PC? It's among the strongest consumer filaments on the market with incredibly high strength. However, you will need to get your hands on a printer that can go high enough to be able to print this material. Some makerspaces do have printers that can potentially get the job done. These are communal workshops that allow you to use tools like 3D printers, laser cutters, and drills. You can usually find them in libraries or schools. And that concludes our review of our Hatchbox filament lineup. We hope that we were able to shine light on what Hatchbox filaments are best equipped for and when you should use them. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons below and stay tuned for our next video. From everyone here at Hatchbox, thank you so much for tuning in. Until next time.